Hi, boys and girls. It's December 13th. You know what that means. It's getting close to our winter break, and it's also getting close to the longest night. Now, the longest night of the year is going to happen on Friday, December 21st. And on that day, it's called the, the winter solstice. That's the day that has the longest amount of hours of nighttime and the shortest amount of hours of daylight. And as soon as we reach the 21st, then the days will start getting a little longer and the nights will start getting a little shorter. But the longest night is December 21st, the winter solstice. So let's read this story about this chickadee in the nighttime, and you can see the moon in the background. And this is a book by Marion Dane Bauer, and it's illustrated by Ted Lewin, who is a pretty famous illustrator. He's done a lot of books. He does beautiful work. And I, got, I had a chance to meet him uh, over the summer in Worcester at the Worcester State University. So anyway, here we go, The Longest Night. Look at those beautiful woods. The longest night. See his signature? I got his signature. <laughs> okay. The snow lies deep. The night is long. The stars are ice. The moon is frost. And all the world is still. Have you ever gone into the woods? On a snow-filled woods? And it's so quiet in there. Bears sleep, as do the velvet mice. A moon shadow lies by every tree thin as a hungry wolf. Sha whines the wind, the bitter wind. Cold and dark now rule, cold and dark now rule. Gone, cause the crow, the night dark crow. So long the sun's been gone, I saw it slink. I saw it sneak. I saw it creep behind a cloud and go to sleep. But I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I'll fly with my strong wings to reach the clouds. I'll poke with my sharp beak and wake the sun. Not you, sighs the wind. Not you. Gone, cries the moose, the mighty moose. I know the sun is gone. I saw it slip. I saw it slide. I saw it plunge from the bowl of the sky and disappear behind a hill. Look at that moose. But I am the one, I know how to bring back the sun. I have legs long enough to reach that hill, to climb that hill. I have antlers strong enough to scoop up the sun and bring it home. Not you, sighs the wind, not you. Gone, barks the fox, the clever fox. The sun is too long gone. Someone must search. Someone must seek. Someone must find the hole the sun crawled into. That face. I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I have a nose keen enough to sniff out the sun's hiding place. Paws, quick enough to dig it up. Teeth, sharp enough to grab the sun and toss it back into the sky. Not you, 
sighs the wind. Not you. Shush. Shush. The night is long and long, says the chickadee. The sun is gone and gone. If not crow or moose or fox, then who? Who can bring back the sun? You, says the wind. Only you. Me, cries the chickadee. Her, cry crow and mouse and moose and fox. Shashu, answers the wind. Chickadee hears. Only you. The little bird knows she can't fly all the way to the sun. Her beak isn't strong enough to poke it awake. She can't climb or scoop. She can't sniff or dig or toss the sun into the sky. So she does instead what chickadees do best. She sings a song. Dee, 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 she sings. And dee, and dee, and dee, she sings. And dee, and dee again. What kind of noise is that? cries Crow. Just D and D and D. The sun won't listen to such nonsense, bellows moose. What can it possibly mean, barks fox. Just D, says the chickadee. Only that, D, D, D. Shashi, says the wind. A star melts away, then another. The frosty moon pauses snagged in the branches of a tree. The world holds its breath, waiting. <clears throat> dee, 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 says the chickadee. And again, dee, dee. Slowly, slowly, the sun opens his eyes. He stretches. He tilts his head, listening. Who sings in the cold and dark, he asks. Who indeed, whispers the wind. Shashi, shashu. Dee, 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 says the chickadee. And the sun smiles. Fingers of light peel back the blanket of darkness. Fingers of light grasp the edge of the world. And slowly, slowly, the sun lifts himself into the sky. Thank you, sun, sings the chickadee. Thank you, sun, echoes the world. And with the song of one small bird and the sun's answering smile, the journey towards spring begins. The longest night. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay warm. Bye-bye.